Our 2013 CES coverage is powered by Ford. Go further. Hey everyone, Veronica Belmont here at CES 2013 and I am joined by Robert of Ecovax. Now, some of you out there may have a Roomba, but there's one problem with the Roomba. It doesn't do Windows. The WinBot, however, certainly does. Can you tell me a little bit about this device? Yes, the uh, WinBot will do a frame or frameless type window. It's very easy to use. It has uh, two microfiber pads on it. The one you use our eco solution to uh, dampen the front pad so that it will uh, do a cleaning action. You attach it to the window, and then once you attach it to the window, it goes to the bottom to determine where the bottom of the window is, and then it travels to the top. That determines what the height is. Once it's got the height, then it goes in a zigzag pattern back and forth, cleaning the window, wiping the dirt from it. When it gets to the bottom, it says, I've reached the bottom. Now is the time to do the perimeter because as I make my zigzag, there's areas that have not been cleaned. So I then clean the perimeter, and then once it's cleaned the perimeter and gets back to the bottom, it says, I'm done. So now I need to go back and stop where I was placed on so the consumer can easily grab me to remove me from the window. When I'm done, there is a little sound, a beeping sound that tells me that I've cleaned the window and the light starts to flash. And what kind of batteries does it use? Does it have a, have a regular charger that it goes back to? Uh, the unit is uh, tied into the electrical system through an adapter, so it's a low voltage, 15 volt uh, adapter with low current, but there is a, back, a lithium backup battery that, mod that um, activates the pump so that if you do lose power, the pump will still uh, work and the unit will then go down to the bottom and stay there and uh, flash red and emit a sound so that you can remove it from the window or plug it back into the electrical outlet so it gets power again. Now what would you do if you had very, very tall windows for example? Would you need to have a cord that was long enough to cover that? Yes, on the unit we have a connection, interconnection, so that you can buy six foot extension lengths to, uh, to be able to clean real tall windows or real wide windows. Now what is exactly enabling it to stick to the window pane? We have uh, suction chambers. There's two suction chambers. The inner suction chamber is the main one that does the holding power. The outer suction chamber is the one that tells you if it interfaces with something like the lettering that breaks the suction, it says I can't go further or I'm gonna lose suction so I need to back away. Just like on this frameless, it has sensors and when it goes off the edge, it says I can't go any further, I need to stop, back up, turn around and continue to clean. And when will we be able to purchase this device? We're looking at introducing it into the market of April this year. Okay, great, thank you so much. My pleasure, thank you. At CES 2013, I'm Veronica Belmont. For tons more CES coverage, head over to revision3.com slash techzilla or youtube.com slash techhd. Patrick Norton here behind the scenes. CES 2013 hasn't even started, but we're inside the Ford booth. And hey, let me tell you something, nobody likes getting lost when you're driving or having to ask directions, least of all me. Ford vehicles with sync and optional voice activated navigation solve that problem. You get turn by turn directions over your car's audio system so you know where you're turning next. In one tenth of a mile, turn left. To save time, you can even plan your route ahead by saving an address as a favorite or searching through your previous destinations. Navigation, please say a command. Destination home. Destination home. Thanks again to Ford for powering this Techzilla CES special and for access behind the scenes before CES 2013 even began.